So, uh, my name is Luc Trudeau. I'm a mentor at, and I'm going to say it once, La Maison de Logiciel Libre, which in English roughly translates to the Free Software House. I'm not going to use that because that sounds a little weird. I'm just going to call it ML2. So I'm a PhD student at École de Technologie Supérieure, which is a university in the Montreal area, and I do video processing, and I also do a bit of lecturing in software engineering and information technology. So uh, ML2 is an initiative in the Montreal area to get students involved and interested into the free software community. So it's been pointed out that um, in a lot of academic settings, free software isn't as predominant as it should be, and we're hoping that we can develop that. And that this model can spread also to other universities, so that's why I'm presenting uh, here. So basically, yeah, we want to get people going. Um, this is really new. We started in January, and um, we've, we're trying it out. We're trying different recipes. So I've found or I've decided on four objectives, which you might have seen somewhere else. So basically, we want students to run free software, we want students to read and, read and learn from free software, and we want students to modify free software, and if those modifications can be redistributed, then that would be great. So what have we done so far for running free software on student computers? Well, we've started workshops. Uh, we've asked students what free software they're interested in learning, and every time we talk to somebody, Git always came up. So we started with Introduction to Git, which is really your basic Git class or Git course that was offered over lunch hours. And then we moved on to um, more advanced, if you want, contributing to Git, which goes through the Git flow and also talks about pull requests and stuff like that. We've also made YouTube videos, which are in French, for uh, Git tips and also command line, which was another thing that sadly some students don't know. And when you get to Linux, knowing the, com the command line is rather interesting or rather important. To learn from free software, we've invited open source developers in the Montreal area. So I open this invitation to you also. If ever you're in the Montreal area for a convention or whatever, and you want to come and give a talk, we'll set up everything for you so you can present to students. We had Anthony Valle Dubois, which is a Chromium developer who came by and gave a talk on what's it like working in open source software for uh, companies like Google, so that's getting student interested in understanding that you can have a career in free software, something you guys probably already know. And we had Philippe Artaud, who came and talked about security and open source software, since he works for a security firm. And so open source software is, and free software is predominant, and security is also important for them. So again, the invitation is open if ever you're around and you want to come and give a talk to something you think would be inspiring to students and things like that. We're really interested. Uh, we've also, in terms of modifying free software, we looked into doing workshops. So we have two workshops, the C and C++ edition and the Python Django edition. So in this, in these workshops, what we do is we get students to come by again over lunch or after class. And we get, we help them out in installing software or downloading the source, compiling the source, making sure it works, looking at the issue tracker, finding interesting bugs, and, uh, contributing them upstream and then, or committing them and then following through with the patch or the pull request root process to get that accepted. And again, if you guys want to help out, we are, we're always looking for people on the other side of the, on the project side, if you want, that can help us, you know, pointing us towards issues and stuff like that that could be easy for students. So when some students come to us and say, I'm looking for something easy to do, then if you guys can give us pointers, we can say, okay, well, we've got this issue that could be interesting and easy for you to start. Uh, we've focused on C and C++ and Python Django because those were the um, subjects that interested students. Um, what we've done so far in that, we've managed to get contributions upstream in many projects. Uh, these two projects are interesting because uh, in terms of DALA, we had the uh, XIF people and Mozilla people over uh, to, we had Nathan and Jean-Marc from DALA who came by and we actually made us a coding session with them and with students. We got three commit upstream during that session, and we also had four more commits that went upstream following that. Satropole Roulante is a um, Meals on Wheels for people with disabilities. It's a project run by Savoir Faire Linux, which is a consulting firm in the Montreal area. And basically that one's interesting because the students that came to the workshop actually managed to get internships uh, at uh, the company through the work they did there. So we also see a potential for getting people, placing people in free software projects or open source projects. So we decided to push it one step further and we're doing the Code Tributon, which is a contribution marathon. Uh, basically we want to get 100 
student contributions to free software over the next semester. So that's pretty ambitious. Uh, but to do that, we've teamed up with some partners. So we've got four sponsors, which you can see here. Each sponsor is responsible for one of the different projects. We've got Chromium, we've got LibreOffice, we've got Ring, which is, uh, for some of you who might not know, it's kind of a Skype replacement that uses free software and it's really cool. You should check it out. And we have Management, which, or MGMT, which is a uh, management software by Red Hat. So each of the partners will sponsor us by allowing us to have access to developers from these projects who will come at the, the university and give two workshops similar to the ones I described before where uh, they go with students, they help them develop, they help them uh, contribute. And for the student, that also helps them to see who's on the other side of the commit or who's on the other side of the bug request, or the pull request, sorry. And we're also doing seminars on subject like um, careers in open source, on uh, open source business model, because sometimes it's hard to see that there, you can actually make money or you can make a company that will make money. And so, and these seminars are open to everybody, also not just students. Uh, the partner with our sponsors, we've been able to have free software starter kits. So that includes lots of swag, that includes um, USB bootable uh, drives with, uh, I think there's four Linux distro on that, uh, books about open source to help people understand the principles behind that. And we also have a level based reward system. So basically when you do your first contribution, you get a t-shirt that says, I contributed to free software. And then later on we have like f level five, level 10 contribution with other interesting prizes with our partner again to help people, uh, students get involved in contributing to free software. Uh, so we're also looking for sponsors for the next iteration of this. All the information is available on our website. Uh, it's in French for now, but English is coming soon. Um, and again, if you're interested in participating in things like that, I'd love to hear from you. So don't hesitate, come and see me at the party later. There's gonna be free beer. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.